Praise the Lord, St. Sabina. Praise the Lord. Come on, give God some praise. Give God some praise. Before we bring up our three honorees to speak this morning, I cannot just ignore what's going on in America. We've had four mass shootings in the past week. Gilroy, California, South Haven, Mississippi, Yesterday, two in 24 hours, 20 killed and 26 wounded in El Paso. And then nine killed and 28 wounded in Dayton, Ohio. And let's not forget the mass shootings of Chicago. As of eight o'clock this morning, since Friday, we've had four killed and 38 wounded. Seven in Douglas Park last night. Seven anywhere else in the country shot is a mass shooting. Seven in Douglas Park on the west side of Chicago is a mass shooting. Guns and violence tragically have become the staple in America. We have a love affair with guns in America. More than any other country in the world. It has become part of our identity. It's become part of our character. Unfortunately, violence in America has become who we are. It's no longer America the beautiful. It's America the ugly. America has become ugly with its supremacy, its racism, its violence, and its division, and its poverty. It's not surprising, because guns and violence are big business. This country and too many of its leadership are making a lot of money off of the blood in our streets. I said on social media yesterday, I really believe for years that when white people start getting killed, America would finally react to this. I was wrong. Politicians and corporate America doesn't give a damn what color it is, the blood that's bleeding, as long as they're filling their pockets with money and their bank accounts, living in their gated communities where they are without violence, where their children are protected. The hell with the corporate America and the politicians in America. The greed of politicians has trumped, pun intended, has trumped the blood of our children and of our citizens in this country. And tragically, the faith communities, Muslims, Jews, Christians, Sheikhs, Baha'i, the faith communities have remained silent. They are afraid to speak up. They are afraid to speak out because the NRA has so much power and so much money. The right to life groups should be shamed today. Where are you speaking up? You shout and you scream about abortion in the womb, but not abortion by the gun, not abortion by racism and poverty and supremacy. Right to life groups, unless you are going to begin to see whenever a life is taken, that you speak up and speak out, you should shut up and get out of the way. Because you can't cry about life coming in the womb and then to hell with that life when it's it born and has to deal with poverty and racism and being shot down in the streets of America like you're not valuable. So today, let me just say this. 
I am going to be calling with everybody I can speak to this week to say it is time for the people of faith to rise up. And I believe that what we saw that got the governor out of Puerto Rico, what we see going on in France, what we see going around this, this world, it needs to happen in America. There, we need to shut down the capital of Washington, D.C. We need to shut down the capital of Washington, D.C. You can't do no business while people are dying in America. It's time to shut down the capital. You say, well, what about the president? What about, he signs bills that the capital puts forward. It is the spineless, bought out, bossed, and, uh, and, and, and compromised Democrats and Republicans in this country who have failed to pass protection of the right to life of every citizen from the violence and the guns that are going on in America. We need to shut down the capital of the United States of America. And if nobody else does it, we will be leading buses to D.C. We, we are going to take buses to D.C. and tell our government, you should be ashamed of yourself while you're profiling on CNN and MSNBC and Fox. Our citizens are dying while your pockets are being lined. It's time for a revolution in America.